This is Gina Compton Gardner. I have my front yard and this is my view when I walk out my front door. Look at all of those golden nugget loquats. This tree is going to get a heavy pruning once I uh once the harvest season is over. Because you can see, let me step down the steps so you can see how tall that is. So, of course, we have at the top, we have all the bird food. Um, but also, look how wide it is. This is my walkway here. And it was going straight up, but the weight of the fruit is bringing it down. So, once, I, once I'm able to get all of the fruit off, this, of course, is going to get a heavy pruning to bring it back. And then at the top as well, bring it down so that it's not as tall. Well, let's just go around so you can see how many fruit it is. So today, got to get my ladder and climb up there or use my uh, my extended shear that uh, with the pole to reach all the way in the top of there. Um, Ideally, because you see all of the fruit don't ripen at the same time, uh, even on the same branch. So in the clusters here, you can see this cluster is all right. For the most part, I have one that's, un that's not completely ripe, but I wouldn't mind just snapping it here and just having that whole bunch, bring that whole bunch in again here. And once they get yellow like this, that's pretty much as big as it's going to get. Good morning, Sissy. Um, but you do have some sections of it that have yellow and green ones. For example, this one here. So in these cases, I would want to just remove the ripe ones. And leave the the younger ones as opposed to just snapping the whole branch so if i'm gonna do that at the top that's when it becomes more complicated reaching up there to remove the ripe ones and leaving the unripe ones um so sometimes late season when i get tired of uh picking them individually i'll just go ahead and snap the whole or I should say, trim the whole branch and just uh, harvest the ripe ones. Because the birds, you know, these birds, they always find the best ones, you can see. You can see where they got into that one. And they don't all eat one. They like to just go around picking them, which is to get a little annoying. But when you have so many... It doesn't really matter. It's a nice little cluster right here. And I could bring down the branch as well. It won't hurt it or damage the branch. They have a bit of flexibility there. So, pull that branch down, snip off that whole bunch. Let me step out towards the street so you can see the whole size of this. getting pretty massive these trees could get up to I've seen them at like 30 35 feet that is not what I want I'll probably never see a fruit or get a fruit if it's uh that big so I definitely want a heavy prune this and the way I would do that you can see how my canopy is I started low which I'm glad I did and then let them come out so what I'll do heavy prune you can see there's multiple here I'll probably bring this one back boom that's gonna eliminate this whole side right here and that's gonna bring it in tight come back over here you can see these ones here three maybe take out the center one you know there's several different pruning techniques you could do to bring the size in and down um, 
but that'll be again maybe the summer pruning um, so that make sure that it heals good and that is ready for next year's season fruiting season you don't want to damage the growth or the production for the following year and this is pretty late this is going to be a long season as well because you can see like I said some of them are ripe and you look at these ones still very young ones so I'll be harvesting these well off into the summertime it's not something that's going to all finish ripening that I have to eat all in in a one week period you know like some of the stone fruits but all right so anyway y'all have a good one and you'll see me on the next one